Hello YouTube, welcome back. It's me, the Scoundrel M, and look at this. Look at this wonderful thumbnail. Thumbnail with, a, with an F? No, thumbnail with a TH. Look at that. Mr. Mix has done it again. He's pulled his uh, rabbit out of the hat and uh, really done with business. Amazing stuff. Anyway, uh, let's uh, enough enough praise. Let's move on to the real meat of the missive. It's it's Dwarf Fortress, of course. I'm playing more Dwarf Fortress. Crip Beards 2. And uh, here we go. Here's our fort all laid out before me. And there's even a little webcam this time. I might turn it off later on. I'm not sure. You know, let's see how it plays out. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of volume to this scenario. Ah. The relaxing sounds of a dwarven fortress. Let's have a little look round. Uh, reacquaint ourselves. What was this area? Ah, yes, we've got the kitchen. The kitchen here. Uh, a little gem cutter's workshop down here. This... This was going to be a dining room, and this is an office for our noble of the day. Whoever that is, I can't remember. Hello, Fuzzy Logic, and hello, Mr. Mix. Ah, oh, you just missed me singing your praises and, and saying how great this uh, the thumbnail is. Right, okay, what was I doing? Uh, let's go up a level, see what we've got here. Stairs, more, uh, more stairs, and the dormitory, which is huge and full of children. One, two, three, four children. Well, hopefully we won't need to defend them anytime soon. Uh, what have we got going on here? Ah, yes, our little burial ground. Plenty of coffins. They're all ready for the first apocalyptic wave of deaths. Excuse me. <clears throat> Bit of a hiccup there. Um, brrr, what have we got down here? Oh, yes, the carpenter's workshop, the mason's workshop, the current dining room, which, of course, I'll have to disassemble at some point and move downstairs. And then the woodstock pile, which really should be becoming the trading outpost soon because we've had to turn away visitors and that's not good is it why do i have this big area of negative space why don't i just mine it out and use that as a room you know what we're not going for beauty we're not going for beauty in this initial phase so uh where that's not a consideration let's just you know dig rooms out where we've got space to what's this crap in the walls is that some kind of ore um just says stone wall. What if I click on it? Rough hewn dolomite wall. Okay, dolomite's not that exciting. Oh, don't try and use the buzzy keys, scoundrel. Don't try it. Okay. Are we ready to unpause? Or maybe I should check on the farm as well. How's that going? You know what? I can't tell just by looking at it. Let's let things uh, kick off. Oh, there we go. Space bar's unclicked and we're getting 92 frames per second. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, although it's no longer topping out. Oh, it is topping out at 100 occasionally. That's okay. Frame health is good, which, of course, for those of you who didn't see the first Crypt Beard series, will need explaining. Uh, we had terrible frame rate issues on the last one, possibly because of my choice to make a moat by diverting a flowing river. All those water calculations may well have been pretty crippling for my uh, CPU, but. Also, let's uh, not let's remember that this is the new version, the 64-bit version. Previously, I was using the 32-bit version, which may well not have taken advantage of what's available on my processor. I don't know. What's going on here? Why is the child flashing red? That surely is not good. Or is it? What's going on here? I'm not getting any alarms, no alerts, so we'll just assume that's okay. No big issue. And uh, start thinking about our expansion plans. Well... First things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another stockpile, I'm going to make it a wood stockpile, and I'm going to pop it in this new room I've just dug out. Oh, hello. And then I'm going to decommission this stockpile by pressing X and doing that. Now we can build a trading post. What's it called? Can you guys read the text? Or is that not an issue for you? I'm sure anyone watching on mobile is having a hell of a time. Is it a workshop? No, a trade depot. Trade depot, there we go, capital D. Ah, nice. Look at this. Ah, yeah, I forgot. I made the room <sighs> misaligned. Okay, we can whack it there, whatever. And we'll make it out of talc. It ain't got to be pretty. This just got to work. Okay, let's get out of here and see how long that takes to construct. I don't think it'll quite fit in there. Or would it? Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. No, it wouldn't have fit. I mean, I could have just. 
Whatever. It's placed now. It's all good. It's all good. Hello, Binks256. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Cryptbeards. This is a, a legacy series. Long running. Well, I say long running. I've, I've played a series of Dwarf Fortress once before on Twitch. Can the wagons get to the trade depot? Well, until it's built, unfortunately, I can't check to see if it has access. But once someone's put the uh, requisite pieces of talc in position, then it can be described as a trade depot. I don't know what they need to particularly build. Surely just a, a big room is suitable. As long as they can get wagons in, great. A snowstorm has come. That's a bit of a disaster, but never mind. I mean, it's only a disaster for those of us outdoors. Is anybody prattin' around outdoors? No, you're all far too sensible. But there is a lot of crap out here that we need to be uh, bringing in. What is it? Barrels? Pigtail thread? We don't have suitable stockpiles for these materia. Hmm. Hmm. I do really need to sort out my stockpiles. I mean, this mess here I've got for sorting stone out is just... garbage. Did I cut? Did I dig this room out? Whatever. Whether I dug that room out for this purpose or not, I'm going to make it into a storage area. We're going to put uh, what's the first thing we need to move? H cloth. We'll put some cloth in here because I'm pretty sure some of that pigtail fiber is going to want to go in there. Then we're going to do uh, ammo. Yep, that's cool. Uh, what next? Not food. Not coins. Not refuse. Not wood. Bars and blocks. I don't think we've got any of that. Sheets. Sheets. Sheets? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna place this storage area for sheets. I don't even know what that really means, but cool. Uh, and then we're gonna go for furniture here. Finished goods. Yeah, well, I might finish goods. This should get everything in. Uh, weapons? Have we got any weapons? I'm gonna lose them. And then I think. Let's might as well put a stockpile for leather. Seeing as we're putting stockpiles for nearly everything else. And bars and blocks. Boom. Yeah, no, I didn't know that, um, Finks, up until the point that I tried to do it last episode and went, huh? What? Let's see. Uh, shift D. Oh. Oh, yeah, of course, there's no. Um, everything's inaccessible because there is no trade depot to access. It's a problem. Hello, Grolsa. Welcome back. It seems like Dwarf Fortress is pulling everybody in. Everybody's raring to go for a new series. I'm sorry, Grolsa. I, I did try to start earlier today, actually, so this is a specifically early starting stream for me. I'm turning over a new leaf. I'm attempting to get things done before schedule, not just on schedule. Books, sorry. Oh, well, that's uh, that's that's uh, nice to know as well, Grosser. I'm so flattered. Um, where books? You say there was a stockpile for books, was that? Let's have a look. B. I'm presuming it's B. No, nope, no books. But there are books in this version of Door Fortress, I believe. Oh, quantum stockpiles. I am aware of the technique of... That nearly disappeared off the top of the uh, chat window before I saw it. But I am aware of the technique of quantum stockpiles. Just, it, it's to do with dumping everything, right? You make a single square dump. They dump everything in, and then you de-designate it as a dump. I think that's right, isn't it? Everything gets compacted into one square. That's my understanding of it. I could, of course, be wildly wrong. Oh, do you see that for a second? 107 frames a second. This is an entirely different story from last time. Previously, we had a woeful time trying to keep the frames flowing fast enough, but apparently now, with this new 64-bit architecture, Dwarf Fortress slips through my CPU like butter over a hot potato. Mmm, buttery potatoes. Um... Okay, I've done, I, I realise I've done a, a big steaming helping of nothing so far this session. That's not strictly true, I did place the trade depot, but other than that I've just sort of looked around and done bugger all. But then again, often that is the way with Dwarf Fortress. Let's check out what our Mason's doing. He seems to be sitting in here. He's making coffins and doors. 
I think I'm going to strike the order for coffins because we won't need any more for a while. We could set him making blocks, couldn't we? Although we could also get him smoothing down stone to level his skill up there. Hmm. Let's, um, let's do some blocks. We've got a storage space for them. We may as well make them. And we have a shitload of bins, so that storage space will go a lot further than it could otherwise. Oh, I better organise uh, an architect, hadn't I? Uh, bear with me one moment as we quickly flash over to Dwarf Therapist. Oh, unable to locate a running copy. Don't worry, don't worry. It's definitely there. Okay, so here we go. Oh, wait. We can rename people. Now there's a thing. Who wants to be a dwarf? Maybe we'll observe them a little while longer. Just to, Jesus. Just to um, get to know them before we start assigning people's names to them, right? You know, you want to... You want to make a choice. You don't want to just dive in with some rando dwarf who might turn out to be a maniac. You want to size them up. You want to think about it before you actually go and slap your name on it. You don't want to be Donald Trump. Anyway, enough. Let us uh, have a look and see who can be... In fact, let's just enable architecture for everybody, right? Because it's not a job that goes on all the time, is it? You know, you only have to be capable, and it's all good. Oh, thank you very much for the follow there, Binks. Much appreciated. I hope you don't mind me uh, abbreviating your name to Binks, leaving out the 256, which I realise, you know, by dint of being 256, the number of colours in the VGA spectrum, it could be an integral part of your name, and you may have fully intended it to be used every time it was spoken. But I'm just guessing it was a number. It's up to you. Let me know. <laughs> Uh, single wants the sheriff again, and Mr. Mex also wants the uh, the executioner. Okay. Um, in that case, uh, request granted. Uh, have, we, have we already got a sheriff? Let me just check my nobles screen. Uh, we have a militia commander, an expedition leader who is also our chief medical dwarf, broker, and bookkeeper. So, uh, yeah. Uh, someone may want to claim that. Sheriff not yet applied, or not yet, well... Not yet acquired. Uh, and who was it? Executioner? Executioner. I don't see that role here. Am I looking in the wrong screen? You'll have to remind me. Or oh, does it not appear until a later date? Maybe we have to reach some kind of development goal before we're judged worthy of having an executioner. I don't know. But I'm sure we'll find out. I'm sure the game will divulge its seeky, seeky? Uh, sneaky little secrets. Shall we, uh, shall we move this dining room? You know, because there's a lot of people hanging around in it, and I think we could do with a little bit more space. Let's have a look. Here's, here's the new candidate dining room. Let's do it. Or should I, before we move the dining room, smooth it out and make it look a bit nice and swanky, so the dwarves really love eating in there? Hmm. Uh, it's not a uh, difficult... Oh, the hammerer is the executioner. Cool, okay. And Binks wants to be the bookkeeper. In that case, Binks, you've just elected yourself leader of the free dwarven world. And, well, they're not free, are they? Let's uh, let's face it. So, N, we are looking for Bim Limagoden. He is no longer Bim Limagoden. He is now... Oh, hang on, is that him? The names are uh, different, aren't they? Uh, it's the only Bim I see. He is a persuader. Let's find out a bit more about Bim Wheels Rope, or Wealth's Rope, sorry. What, what do you say, Bim? Happiness is fine. Within the last week, she felt euphoric due to inebriation. Annoyed after having a drink without using a goblet, cup or mug. Interest seeing a fine seat. Interest seeing a fine table, times five. Boredom after being unable to practice a craft for too long. Uneasiness after being able to, unable to be extravagant for too long. Boredom after not learning anything for too long. Loneliness after being away from family for too long. Loneliness, loneliness after being away from friends for too long. Embarrassment after sleeping without a proper room. And satisfied at work. Okay. I see. Even inebriation. It's a fairly uh, standard story for our dwarven residents. Uh, what do you think? What do you think? Do you want Bim Wealth's Rope? Our gallant leader? You know what? I'm going to put that in. Let's, uh, let's set the nickname. Shall I put the 256? For now, I'll leave the 256 out and we'll, uh, we'll come back. 
So hopefully you'll show up more easily. 78 year old. Well, 78 years old, is that right? Did I misread that? The thing pops up at different... Okay, that is really hard to read. It's probably very confusing for you guys because it goes right off the bottom of the screen. Uh, let's commit that change. Uh, Bim Binks Wealth's Rope, now named. So name of the dwarves. There you go, look. There you are. Expedition leader, chief medical dwarf, broker, bookkeeper. Okay. Here we go. Uh, let's resume the action again and immediately pause it by pressing D for designate. Uh, I want to smooth stone and I'm going to set this entire area to be smoothed. No skimping. Holy shit, look at these icons. What's going on? Fair enough. Ooh, I'm zooming out a bit. Okay. Now I think our Mason is the only person with the skill to smooth. They're our only engraver. So, maybe I go here. We don't need any more doors or blocks, I don't think, for now. Let's just clear all these tasks, free him up, and let him toddle off and start smoothing stone, because at first, he's going to be crap at it. And we want to massage his skill levels until they swell into a beautiful, imposing flower of ability. What the fuck am I talking about? You know, you don't have to put up with this. If you, if you, if you think I'm just going too far off topic or delving too deeply into some kind of pointless, flowery nonsense, just just say, feel free, just pipe up. Even in the YouTube comments, it's never too late. Just say, come on, scoundrel. You've got that was too much. What are you talking about? Anyway, uh, here he goes. Look, he's already he's already doing a lovely polish on the walls when he's got one done. A vein pillar. Well, there's a provocatively named thing, and no mistake. Hmm. Sounds like a euphemism. Uh. Let's not immediately skip straight to the bedroom after saying that. It's almost like I meant to do it, and I very much did not. Okay, we'll leave this all set up for now, because if we uh, if we start taking it out while he's still polishing, it's going to cause trouble. And the last thing we want is trouble. Ah! The trade depot is now available, so we can see if it's accessible. Apparently so. Wagon access. It says it's meant to be a W, but I'm presuming these little yellow dogs are W's in this tile set. Now, have they got access to the side of the screen? Because we had issues, people arrived and couldn't get access, but this all looks fairly interconnected with the sides of the screen. I don't think we're going to find major access issues. Tree growth may cut off roots. I think we're good. In fact, maybe we'll just chop an enormous swathe of trees down to access the sides of the map. I mean, it probably won't actually do what I want it to. No, let's not do that just yet. We haven't got room to store all the wood, even if we do. <laughs> no candy hammer this time. Oh, okay, Mr. Max. Okay. Oh, and I was not I, I was going to answer Grolser as well. You were asking if this is a difficult area. It's not a particularly difficult area, no. Um, no aquifer, I believe. Um, humans, elves, dwarves, and goblins nearby. But of course, there's always goblins nearby. Um, and that's about the size of it. No particularly extreme biome conditions. It's all good. I don't remember the exact biome I'm in, but um, I think it's coniferous forest or something. And this is, of course, a mountain on the very edge of the map. I like to find these liminal areas where you can meet two little biomes up against each other. I mean, okay, you don't always get exciting resources due to the small area of wine you've got. Oh, hello. An elven caravan from Lebu Gartho has arrived. Oh, Garetho. Lebu Garetho. Fair enough. Let's uh, let's watch them advance on our trading depot. And, oh, they're going to have to go straight past the storeroom full of chopped logs. Let's quickly uh, pop a door on there and hope that that actually has an effect on them noticing whether or not we've... Uh, chopped lots of trees down. Look at that, the door's in in a nick of time. Excellent news. Okay, so we need to get our trader, don't we? Uh, let's click on the depot. <clears throat> uh, trader needed at depot. Uh, and then I suppose we should move some goods, shouldn't we? Uh, what have we got, though? Well, we've got bituminous coal, plant barrels, spice barrels, dimple cup spawn bags. Uh, I think we'll keep the seeds. In fact, we'll probably buy any seeds they've got. We could sell some wine or prickleberry wine. Okay, did we make that? 
maybe we did. I'm not sure. Uh, plant cloth? Almond wood logs? I don't think we have much they're going to want to buy, apart from stone, if anything. Okay, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Oh, uh, Binks, I'm not going to get greedy with the candy. I'll get to the point I was about to make after I say this. Last time in Crypt Beards we had an enormous amount of candy. It was freaking unbelievable. Tons of the stuff. And I really had to push to get to the circus. It was unbelievable. I mean, it was just giving me piles and piles of the stuff. Anyway, uh, rob the elves, you say. I say, maybe we should have a militia of some sort first. We have one guy who can fight and elves... You know, I'm not totally up on the current state of play in the Dwarf Fortress race war, but mm, they're not that shit. You know, they could kill us. So, for now, for now, we'll be okay. We'll just be cool, let them come and visit, and then another time when they come, we'll have some hideous trap set up for them and they can die in an accident, and then we'll get all their stuff. That sound better? It sounds far sneakier, and I like sneaky. Sneaky's nice. Oh, we've got small cut gems. Hmm. Oh, I'm not selling those just yet. Uh, bar block bin tools, cherry wood wheelbarrows. Oh, they're handy. Uh, barrels, buckets, quivers, bags. Oh dear. You know what? Elves. I'll see what you got before I start looking for things to trade. Okay, I'm not. I can't afford anything you've got. But you might have some. Oh, hang on. Is that our trader? Aha, Let's trade. Let's have a look and see what they've got. Clay loam, silty clay, wood, wood, cages, a bull moose, giant flying squirrel. Whoa, I say. I think I want to stay on good terms with the elves because. They bring such wonderful creatures that we could train up for all manner of things. Imagine hunting with a pack of flying squirrels. Not just flying squirrels, giant flying squirrels. Flying squirrels is cool enough. I mean, they run up, they get on your hand like an aeroplane, like a paper aeroplane. Boom! You, you chuck them, they go, boom! Scan the area, they run back, they go, there's a thing over there. I'm not quite sure on how the communication part would work, but they would indicate prey in a certain distance and then you'd be able to sneak upon it with aerial reconnaissance whizzing around and of course any creature being uh, stalked would uh, be mesmerised by the display of flying rodents they'd just be looking at it going what the hell is going on and while they're looking up pondering the nature of nature you can just uh... or indeed I mean or twang rather but yeah it's good seize the goods it doesn't make them attack Okay. Hmm. Claim it as mine. It's an interesting thing, but for now, I think we're going to remain cordial with all groups. For now, I mean, I mean, it may be a vain hope. It may be uh, a, a pure fiction. But uh, I'm going to hold to it. Let's. Uh, the traders no longer needed at the depot. We're going to let them go. We've seen what they bring in. But we've got to build ourselves up before we can start trading. We just don't have the means right now. We don't have the material. We've got a lot of stone, though. And we don't need to chop a lot more wood. Oh, shit. Oh, no, these aren't stumps. These are trees. They're all good. Although this bald patch might be suspicious. But whatever. What's this animal here? A yak calf. Oh, yeah, their parents died. And then uh, there they are. In the corpse stockpile, or refuse pile, rather. Poor old little orphan yak. Little orphan yaki. Whatever will you do? Well, I, you know, the, in all likelihood, it will get eaten. But that's okay, right? You can eat yak. Perfectly acceptable source of meat. Uh, something happened with a stray war dog there. I noticed the notification pop up, but what it meant, I don't know. I'm just looking at things now. We need to make a plan of attack. What is our next objective? Well, I think we need to start making bedrooms for people and digging out a, uh, a nice social area. Oh, look at you! He is making progress. Sweet, sweet progress. Okay, let's... Oops, a daisy. Go down two levels. You know what? 
I'm going to put down some more up downstairs. Uh oh, that way. Now we go down, 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 down. Ooh, take them down there. And once they've gone down a few levels, we. Oh, hello. We are going. No, something happened there that took me away from the. Oh, some migrants have arrived! Ooh! Ooh. Rock mugs. That's what we don't have. A craft dwarf workshop. Uh, very good call. I will place one of those forthwith. But first, let's watch our migrant wave arrive. Where are you? Where are you, my migranty friends? Nope. They appear to be... non-locatable. Okay. Well, we'll do it the old-fashioned way with the uh, Dwarf Therapist. Let's read our dwarves and we'll split them by Migration Wave. There we go. And... You are fucking kidding me, what? So here's our... Wait, we've got to pause the game. This... We could have a population issue. Resume. Okay. Let's quickly read the dwarves again. Okay, so we started with our original seven. That's good. Then a wave of three, then a wave of five, and then a wave of 37. Oh my god, how many children? Professional child. Professional child, 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 professional baby, professional child, professional child. What's that? Professional paper maker? Oh my goodness, intriguing. Professional child. Another professional child? Yes, more professional children. Oh god. So, perhaps if we group them by profession, we'll see what we've got. Jesus, look at this! Look at what? Kumil Blushed Pillars appears to be double female as a gender? What's this? Okay. Okay, let's explore that. Dusim Thunder Gravel appears to have a uh, transgender thing going on. Well, that's all very good. Okay. Fair enough. Um, so, where was I? Um, I was looking to see who we have of use here. Let's find the good ones. Okay, so we've got... These are all farmers. Yeah, nice. Fishery workers. Not so useful. Woodcrafter. Good. We were going to make a craft thing. Metal crafter. Okay, not so useful. Blacksmith, armorer. We don't really have the metal yet, but okay. Animal dissector, animal caretaker, ranger, 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 ranger. What does ranger mean? Is this a pre... Do we have a preformed military? Let's uh, sort them by axe dwarf skill and take them out of the migration wave. Let's see what we actually have in terms of the military. Well, axe dwarves, we haven't got much to write home about. Hammer Dwarves is a pretty similar situation. No knife users, no lashers, a couple of mace dwarves, pikemen, spear dwarves, swords dwarves. Got a few disciplined people. No one as disciplined as Odom, our original uh, fighter. Um, how about. We've got dodges. Everyone's got a bit of dodging going on. Fighting, kicking, striking, wrestling. Well, it looks to me that if I just click through here and... These guys, Zolgar, Odom, Vabok, Reg, Amost and Zoglar, they are our potential recruits for the military. Let's see who we've got. We've got... In fact, who's got the most kills? I bet is there no one sneaking around with like thousands of kills because they're an immortal vampire? No, good! Hey, excellent stuff. Yeah, let's sort by migration wave again. Um, there, and go back to labours. I wish I could filter out the kids. Um, what do the rangers get? Where are my rangers? Where are my rangers at? Okay, they're all to do with animal trapping, hunting, animal care, yada yada. Okay. Nothing particularly exciting to write home about. Let's look at our crafts. Crafts. Who's got what craft? Crafty craft. 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 Craf
crafty stone crafting. We've got a stone crafters. Huh? Not what we didn't already have. Anyway, enough looking through here. Nobody special standing out. So let's resume and get to producing jobs for these people to do. Maybe we made way too many beds. That could explain the situation, I think. Possibly. What's that new uh, dining room coming on? Oh, I paused it, didn't I? So obviously it's not gone very far at all. What's this material? Rough hewn schist? Mica? Mica? Microline? You know what? I'm going to go down a couple of floors. What's this one here? Rodolite. Hmm. I'm going to dig here. Oops. And we are going to make a. In fact, let's do this. Oh, no, it's not one. This. We're going to do this. I don't know why I chose to do it this way, but we're going to do it that way. And then we're going to build some smaller corridors off here with rooms on. So, uh, rooms are going to obviously have to be about here. Is that a good enough size for a dwarven room? It's going to have to be for now. Maybe it's not going to be good enough for some of the more petulant nobles, but I think it will suffice for. You know, people who've been living in a dormitory for months. Ah, I see a lesbian. A ring of brought, which turns what have you hit to me? Intriguing. I think I've missed that one. I, <laughs> I, I realised that that was prompted by something I probably said, but what it was, I have no idea. Somehow... <laughs> I've uh, completely become disoriented from chat. Uh, let's move down to that there. Have another one, please. Uh, there we go. Uh, can we get another room in here without breaching? Looks like it. Okay. Do I carry this corridor on to another? I think so. There we go. Where are we going? Uh, yep, there. No, not there. There. Oh my god, my brain's melting doing this. I do have, there are some tools included in the Lazy New Pack that uh, actually allow you to use templates and stuff to lay down things, but I, I haven't actually figured out how to use those before, I've never really bothered. I've always just done it this way. I suppose I could use the mouse as well, couldn't I? Actually, that feels a little bit simpler, actually. Why did I say actually twice? Actually, that feels a little bit simpler, actually. Oh, hang on. Not our screen space, there we go. Lovely. Shall I put some rooms on the end here? Might as well. Feels good to me. <sighs> it's all symmetrical too. That's most unusual for my stuff to turn out to be symmetrical. Okay. I mean, I go for symmetry, don't get me wrong, that's what I'm aiming for. But do I get it? Really? I think this is enough digging for now. I think my dwarves are probably going to take a while to get through that, so let's let them get on with it. Ah, oh, this looks pretty good. Okay, back up to the surface, see what's going on here. We have an absolutely ramo dining hall. The situation needs to be sorted fast. How's our engraver going? Making short work of this or long tedious work? Of course he's making long tedious work of it. Why would he make short work of it? Mind you, his skill is probably skyrocketing. Can we start putting tables in? I feel like I want to put a table here. We've got tables. We can start appointing this place appropriately. I'm going to put a shitload of tables all the way down. Oh, okay, we've run out of tables there. But I'm pretty sure we're going to have thrones to go with them, so... Oh, calm down. Stop skipping. This is a really hard 
contrast to see. Ah, oh, we're one, one chair down. That's okay though, we've got a load in the other dining room. We're all set. Fear is not. I must have assigned that because we didn't have a requirement for the office to be assigned. It's all good. Okay, we struck amber opal. Nice. And these bedrooms, man, they're just carving them out. Literally, I suppose. Yeah, literally. Looking pretty good. surface again. I've got 21 idlers. It's definitely time to place that craft. Let's just put a craft workshop in here. Build workshop. Uh, oh, for craft dwarf workshop. And we're going to put one here. Made of almond wood logs. No, let's make it out of dolomite. Uh, and then we're going to make another craft dwarf workshop. And we're going to put it here. And that's also going to be made of dolomite because why not it's local let's use it and making it a bituminous coal would be disgracefully wasteful we've got quite a bit of that stuff maybe it's time to start building a forge that could be good come on elves you're out staying you're welcome which was pretty tenuous at best oh hello Dusin Alice Kib has claimed a crafts dwarf workshop uh oh that didn't take long. Immediate mood. But what are you doing here? Come on, show me the deal. They're bringing... It's a child! We're going to have a legendary crafts dwarf child. Possessed by unknown forces. Okay. Let's watch this with interest. Let's hope that the required materials are available. They seem to be moving with purpose. They know what's going on. They're getting a load of wood. Marching it past the elves. Good. Well done. Okay, where are we going now? Down a floor. No, not stopping here. Oh, they've begun the mysterious construction already. Why does it zoom to here? That's what I want to know. There's nothing there to zoom for. Hmm. What could it be? They're an adequate wind instrumentalist, but uh, beyond that, I see nothing of interest. Maybe they'll make a legendary weapon, but it's going to be made out of wood, so uh, I'm not sure how useful it's going to be. What the hell? Why are they carrying the yak corpses into the... Wait a minute. What's going on here? Dolomite door. No, you've got a yak corpse. What's going on here? Store item in stockpile. What? <laughs> I can see you carrying yak corpses, which were previously... Oh no. Oh, don't tell me more yaks have died. And hang on a minute, is that a live llama? Oh my god, they've brought pets. They've brought tons of pets. And some of them are bloody yaks and stuff. Okay, we need to put out... We've got our grazing lands out here. Uh, how do I assign everything to it? Uh, where are they? Uh, zones. I. There we go. Let's set pen pasture information. Okay, so... War dogs can stay out. Hunting dogs can stay out. Cats can stay out. Puppies. Oh, shit. Looks like we're going to be eating puppy for a while. Uh, alpaca. Water buffalo. Uh... What's this? Puppy, reindeer, calf, alpaca, blue peacock, hen, hen, hen. Okay, I think we're good. Stray poult, like that. Okay, I think we've covered everything. Everything's going to get shifted out there and we'll be alright. We won't have corpses piling up in the uh, mess again. Which would be a bit of an issue. Oh, did the camera just skip there, or was that just me? Oh, here we go, here we go. Dusim Aliskib, dwarven child, has created Estilmishos, a Bayberry wood figurine of Ass Kindness Towers. Okay, let's check this Bayberry wood figurine out. 
And also, we'll check out this kid in uh, Dwarf Therapist, because they're going to have some mad skills. Uh, I don't want to look at you. I want to look here. Where are the items? Estimilios. Estil... Estilmichos. Estilmichos, that's what I'll call it. Okay, let's have a look. It's a small piece of art carved in the likeness of a creature. And let's view it again. Can we view it again? V description, here we go. I'm going to have to sit up and look at this because the text has got a bit small for me. Should we zoom in? Oh, it just goes off the edge. <laughs> okay. Let's take it to where I can see it. There we go. This is a Bayberry Wood figurine of As Kindness Towers. All Crafts Dwarfship is of the highest quality. The item is masterfully designed, an image of As Kindness Towers, the Dwarf and Dwarves in Bayberry and Wood by Dusim Aliskib. As Kindness Towers is surrounded by the Dwarves. The artwork relates to the ascension of the Dwarf As Kindness Towers to the position of Queen of the Routed Doors in one. It is encircled with bands of bayberry wood. This object menaces with spikes of almond wood and amber opal. On the item is an image of Whirlbeached, the bayberry wood figurine of Kindness Towers in Bayberry Wood. Is an image of what? Whirlbeached, the bayberry wood figurine? It's got a picture of another figurine on it. Okay. Figurines captured in figurines. It's figurines all the way down. But, but anyway, whatever happened there... Who, what was your name again, kid? Dusim Kisnet. Let's take a look at you and see who you are. Let's search D-U-C-I-M. Then we've got, we've got two of them, and there's Kisnet. There he is. Okay, so let's read the dwarves. Let's have a look at your skills. You shouldn't have any. You're a child, but you've got none. No skills at all. Even after doing... Oh, hang on a minute. Down here, look. Oh, no, that's just telling us the actual numbers. Okay, whatever. Um, brilliant. 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 Doomed to remain a professional child forever, by the look of it. Oh, well. Never mind. Look, even this child here has got zero in farming. <sighs> that's, that's crushingly disappointing. Anyway, uh, where are we going? That's it, we're starting off here. Uh, what do we need to do to get people working? Well, get these craft dwarf shops working for a start. So we add a new task. We're going to craft with rock. And we're going to make rock mugs. Alt G. We're going to repeat that. Add nauseam. And this dwarf workshop here is going to make... Um, wow, there's a lot of stuff we can make here. Ivory tooth crafts, leather crafts, pearl, horn, <laughs> ivory, yarn, silk. Oh, books. What do I need for that? Paper, probably. Instrument, instrument pieces, metal strands, totem. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to make more rock crafts, but instead of mugs, I'm going to make um, some nest boxes. Because we've got birds out there that could lay eggs, so let's do it. Let's just get those built. Okay. So we've got some tasks there. That's going to take some people, some people's time up a little while. Let's look up here and make sure we've got rid of... There's still a few bits and bobs out here. Where's it gone? There it is. Cherrywood barrel, peachwood barrel. Oh, it just doesn't the skills for children. Okay. Oh, hello, base on Mars. Welcome back. Go to artifacts, it's faster. Artifacts, artifacts. Is that one of the announced? Oh, yeah, L. Holy moly. And just go straight to the artifacts. It's all good. We've only got the one at the moment, but I can't see it here. Oh, there it is, yeah. <sighs> okay, so 
we haven't made a lot of progress, there's not been a lot of development, but there's been these stinking elves hanging around for ages. Oh, they heard me. They're off. Bye, elves. What was that? Was that someone breaking off from the group, running down to our farm? No, it was just me being paranoid. Bye, elves. Come back with cool shit when we've got money. Look at all the kids running around that bloody dining room. Cool. I bet some of the dwarves are getting right wound up with that. And look at that, all the, the um all the smoothing appears to be done as well. Very nice. Very fancy. I am early super chaser, yes. I was trying to be more sensitive to the European time zones. Oh, excuse me. I will be taking a break in a little while though, because this gum here, this one right at the back here, tis throbbing madly and talking is agitating it. But unfortunately, I enjoy talking, so I'm in somewhat of a catch-22. <sighs> when will the misery end? Okay, there's nothing to what? Nothing to catch in the southern swamps, apparently. I didn't even realise there were swamps in the south. We've got swamps. Do those two little ponds count as swamps? It's a little bit grandiose, I think, calling it a swamp, but okay. If... Anything described as a swamp could be considered grandiose, of course. Suit uh, the humble bundle. Oh, I might have to have a look at it. I've not seen. Uh, I've not looked at them normally for a while. I only ever check them out when people send me the uh, that, that recommend me to, as as you did just there, Super Chaser. So I shall uh, turn my Sauron-like gaze upon it. By which I do not mean homosexuals with one burning eye each. No, that is a different kind of Sauron-like gaze. What I mean is an unyielding stare directly into the crux of the matter. I'm making no sense again. I've gone mad. I did a bad pun. Okay, so how many bedrooms have we got in here now? Several! And several is a wonderful number to have bedrooms for. Should I expand out more? I mean, we're not digging. I should probably do it, shouldn't I? We're going to make a another corridor going across here. And I'm going to take it this far. Yep, yeah, that's right. And then we're going to take it out that far. That seems right. And then we're going to repeat. Rinse. Repeat. And we're going to make the most densely populated dwarf fortress you have ever seen. That's not strictly speaking true. Some of you have probably seen incredibly densely populated forts. Some of you are watching this going, You noob, you are like a little baby. You cannot play dwarf fortress until you've done X, Y and Z. But I will say to you, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Whatever you say. Uh, let's do I do another one going up this way? Or we go this way? You know what? Let's see what happens when they dig it out. But I will be putting one over here. Excuse my tuneless little outbursts there. Those uh, were a little bit jarring, I know, but it happens every now and again. And if you want to keep consuming this content, then you just have to put up with it. It's not that bad. Nah. Right, there we go. More designation. I am being awfully generous on my rooms. I'm I'm pre pre planning. And if I'm honest, I'm in somewhat of a quandary as to what to do next. I need to supply rooms for these guys. They're all eating down here, even though it's not designated uh, dining room yet. Let's do that. Let's do the biz. Oops, a daisy scoundrel. Calm your fingers. Oops, haven't got the doors in. Okay, we can't designate that yet, but we can designate the doors. So, I want one there. Am I a dog my door? Thank you very much. Now, now may I make a dining room? Boom. Okay, uh, it's a meeting hall. Yes. And, yep, we're all done. And then we can go back up to the first floor and de-designate this room. 
Which table did I do it from though? That's a very good point. Ah, you can do it by Q, can't you? And once you get close, it will highlight the room. There we go. And then we say... Meeting hall? No. And we can deconstruct all these buildings. What do I press to deconstruct? It's... Uh... Lot of stuff. There is a lot of blinking. You have to have a high blink tolerance for this kind of thing. How many yaks? Is there something about this place that when the yaks arrived, they just die and only this one survived because it was born mutated to live here? What's going on? What be the dilly, yo? Alright, let's build some more tables in this place. A chair. Oh, not there. There. There, 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 and there. There, a chair everywhere, a chair. This is going to be a pretty sweet dining room. Is there no chair there? Build chair there. Yeah. Cool. This should all be put in place in no time at all, and we've got 13 idlers still. Maybe are children counted as uh, idlers? Deckard Cain from Diablo 2. I am unfamiliar with the voice of Deckard Cain because I never played Diablo 2. What did I? Was that the one I played? I only played one Diablo and it was enough for me. Um, so I'm unfamiliar with the name. I think I played Diablo 2. Yeah. I am reasonably confident it was two, not one. But who knows? What does Deckard Cain say? What should I? What words should I utter to either enforce or negate this brazen accusation? Is there supposed to be a table in here? There is, isn't there? There we go. Lots of talc tables. Yeah, but they all seem to die at once. They seem to arrive, the yaks. And then... Uh, and then, and then died. Hmm. Stay a while and listen. Stay a while and listen. Stay a while. Listen. Stay. Listen. So many ways it could possibly be said. So many ways. Do I have a stiller and a kitchen? It's funny you should mention that. I have a stiller down here. I call it Ben. <laughs> I don't. Uh, and it looks like they're going like the clappers. Let's have a look. Brew drink from plant. It's being done. It's being done. And what have we got here? We got. I should have a chef. Oh, this is a farmer's workshop. Oh, the, the kitchen's at the top, isn't it? Uh, what do we do? Well, we, we don't have any animal to uh, any animal to milk. Wait a minute. We have a, a young yak. Excuse me. <clears throat> Pardon me. But the question I must ask myself is, what gender does this yak present as? because it's no use milking a male yak, unless it's a racing yak, in which case we want its potent stallion seed. But uh, otherwise, it's not worth much. People don't like to drink it. Well, age of the internet and all, some people probably do, but not enough to sustain anything like a market. So we're not gonna bother with it. Uh, anyway, where was I? Uh, yak, uh, you're a water buffalo calf. And you are, that's the female sign, right? Oh yeah, my lovely milky yak. Uh, we've got a reindeer calf, also female. Yeah, oh, there's gonna be some titty pulling here. Uh, an alpaca as well. Do alpacas lactate significantly or are they dry in the mammary department? Who knows, who knows? I mean, obviously there's some alpaca expert out there, but you know, at least it looks like we've got something milkable. What was that? Something just bolted and ran. Was it? It's our yak calf. Why'd they all ping away from the pasture? Work one. Ah! A skunk, overcome by terror. Okay. 
why is the skunk overcome by terror? Maybe we'll never know. Maybe we'll never know. Well, I mean, stop cat. You call it a... Um, you call it a, uh, a learning curve, but it's more like a learning wall. Uh, in fact, it's more like a learning overhang. You don't really so much traverse a curve and, and reach a peak as sort of repeatedly slam yourself into the walls of the mountain until you crack through. But I get, I, I understand your sentiment there. It is not the most accessible game. But if you get the Lazy Noob Pack, um, ta-da! The Lazy Noob Pack, if you just, you know, Google it, <laughs> you'll find it. And it makes things a little easier because you can put these graphics packs in and everything. And it's, uh, it all starts to fall in place. And there are a good few people out there doing tutorial style videos for this. I mean, I'm not doing Dwarf Fortress tutorials. I thought about it and then I realised, scoundrel, you know shit all about this game. Don't start telling people how to play it because that is only going to end in ridicule and ignominy. So I just thought I'd play it myself. It's all good, isn't it? I like it. How many forts have I flooded? I have a few. <laughs> just a few. And Binks, I haven't made a tavern yet. I don't know how to do it. I haven't done it at all. In fact, we could make a tavern in the old dining room, right? God, I'm jumping around like a maniac. This is uh, not decommissioned. Why? Remove. Okay, these are all getting removed. Good. Whoa, what's this on the floor? Cherry pits? Bayberry seeds? Pear seeds? I'm pretty sure they can be ground in a quern, can't they? For some kind of oil or paste. Nothing like a bit of nut paste to liven up a sandwich. Preferentially, I would say, um, what the hell? You've got a herd of fishermen. Oh man, I didn't disable their fishing. They're gonna dry these ponds out in no time for fish. Thief, protect the horde from skulking filth. Where is the thief? No doubt the dog spotted it. We have no means of combat either. I do need to set up some kind of Defensive force. Hmm. Uh, didn't remove the table. Don't remove. I need a table. Oh, okay. I need that for the uh, for the uh, tavern. There we go. Let's uh, plug my brain back in. Ah, these have been removed. Shoid. Boogery shoit. Uh, but I can build a table right there. Boom. Okay, I should probably build some doors as well. Are these doors? That is a door. Why is it there though? It should be here, surely. Build door there and door there. Lovely. Totally ignored the thief. Don't know what the hell they've taken. They might have taken our artifact. Oh shit. War to the goblins. That's what I say. If they're taking the artifact, there's no mercy. We begin the training immediately. Okay, have they placed that table? They've placed the table. Here we go. Let's make it a room. Table, make it a room. Okay. And make it a tavern. I don't see how. Is it L, assign location? You have not designated any locations. Do it here. Locations such as taverns, temples and libraries can be created from meeting area zones, dining rooms and bedrooms. These larger associations of rooms can attract visitors from outside the fortress. You can manage occupations and more from location details on the main location list. Okay. Add a location. And we're going to make an inn slash tavern. Boom. That's what we've got. An inn slash tavern. Uh... The Tenebrous Sweetness. Oh my, what a name. Let's we put some more tables in while we're here. Do they need chairs? You know what I say to people who need chairs in the pub? Nothing really. I was about to come up with some kind of witty outburst, or maybe even just some kind of nonsensical ranting, but you know what? I think there was a comedic dead end I was heading down, so we're gonna pretend I didn't do it and just keep placing tables. With no rhyme or reason, just... Hang on. Build table. There we go, we've got two more tables. There we go, 
anywhere else. All the tables gone. These guys are running. Place them where they need to be. We've got a couple of chairs knocking around just in case. And then they all decide to hang around. Why is that? We've probably got quite a bit of fish banging around as well. Maybe I should start thinking about getting people cooking. Where's our kitchen? Oh, damn it, stop using WASD to move. It's arrow keys, you maniac. Arrow keys! Okay, let's get this kitchen into gear. Uh, add a new task, and I would like to prepare an easy meal. It's an easy meal. It will slip right down your throat. Um, let's get back out of here. You may have noticed there that little urn was quite distressed because I realised I'd actually sung that out loud when it was entirely meant to be an internal thing. Oh well. Make rooms for guests to stay at and assign them to the tavern. Well, it's getting pretty uh, interesting here. Maybe we should start trying to dig out some rooms down below, more storage and crafting stuff and start making this whole top level just Tavern land. Come see the beautiful dwarven graveyard. Carved stone tombs and crypt decorations make it a must see in your inebriated tour of dwarven culture. Maybe, maybe, maybe. It might work. Ooh, I don't know how happy the dwarves are going to be with a load of staggering, vomiting tourists wandering around the halls of ancestor worship. But I suppose it's not really up to them, is it? Eslo Beast Quabe Goblin Pikeman is visiting. What? What? Visiting Goblin? This is new. I've never heard of this before. I've only got six idlers though. That means I'm doing something reasonable, right? Oh, hang on a minute. No, it's spiking. Five or oh, four? No. Well, people seem occupied. And they don't seem to mind the big piles of cherry seeds on the floor. Do we actually have booze to supply these people, or do we need to start thinking industrial scale? People are running around with a shitload of mugs in their hands as well. Hmm. Um, are all the tavern guests able to roam freely around our, our place? That would be annoying if that's the case. Zagla the farmer. Oh, Binks, you've been elected mayor. Binks Limagoden, Chief Medical Dwarf, has been elected mayor. Ah, so does partying count as not idling? Interesting interpretation of the activity. There's the Goblin Pikeman. Let's, uh, oops, Daisy. Let's uh, quickly pause and see what's going on here. Number one, I don't believe this is a pike. It's some kind of other pole arm. Maybe a glaive, grease arm, pole axe. I don't know. Uh, but yes, he's there, along with our fisher folk and a couple of swap, hot swapping people in the same spot. Maybe they're dancing. I don't know. Anyway, zoom back out. Do, 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 do. Back out we go. There we are. That'll do. Okay, so anyway, congrats, uh, Binks. You're uh, now the mayor of Cryptbeards 2. I forget what we actually called our fortress. How do I check that out? Um, do. I need to assign jobs in the tavern. Oh, okay. Is that on the noble screen? Quite yes. Maybe it is. What have we got? Manager's vacant. Oh, hang on. We need to build a hospital. Ah, the mayor needs more stuff. Oh, my God. The mayor probably needs his own bedroom, right? Hmm. Well, with this list of demands high in our minds, what I'm actually going to do right now is I'm going to take a break. I'm going to toddle off for about ten minutes, uh, have a drink of tea to try and get this swelling gum to go down, uh, and then I will be back to play some more Dwarf Fortress. In the meantime, I can leave you with a musical interlude, uh, or we can just stop the stream and start again. It is entirely up to you guys. Uh, speaketh now, or your opinions shall count for naught. Any opinions? Oh, look at me, I look like some kind of vagrant, tramp, indigent. That's as quickly time I have, eh? 
There we go. And also, before I forget, say thank you for watching people on the YouTube recording. I'm going to stop recording for a minute now. It's been a genuine pleasure recording for you, and I hope you liked this. And if you did, click the like button, maybe subscribe, just watch some more videos, whatever, you know. I mean, as long as people watch, I'll keep making them. Anyway, see you soon. Bye. In the next episode, I mean. Bye.